Hey guys, this is Cardinal Bird 5 and in this video I'm going to talk about pitching clutch. Um, we're going to describe how the developers uh, you know, come up with the attribute and assign certain attributes to certain players based on you know, what they do in real life, what, are they, what stats are they looking for. Uh, we're also going to show you guys in game what uh, pitching clutch actually does and then I'm, to wrap it up I'm going to kind of show you or, or kind of talk about uh, how big of an impact I think pitching clutch has and I guess to start out guys I really uh, I want to start out by showing you guys uh, by the way we're gonna use Madison Bumgarner versus Miguel Cabrera so I'll start out by showing you guys their attributes and then I want to show you guys um, how this affects their overalls as well so to get started we're looking at Bumgarner uh, and the key attribute we're paying attention to is his pitching clutch it is a 78 overall right now and the batter we're gonna be facing is Miguel Cabrera who I actually it's at zero but I've been testing it out it's actually default on 97 Oops. <clears throat> so I'm gonna have two videos here one on pitching clutch and one on batting clutch now for Miguel Cabrera his batting clutch I believe it was 97 so he's a 94 overall when you put it back up there so uh, what we want to pay attention here, you know, things that are going to affect Miguel Cabrera's PCI, contact and power, vision and clutch. So if you look at all of his attributes, they're all like, you know, 90s, high 80s, whatever. It's, he's going to have a good size PCI. And keep in mind, we're going to be doing this test on all-star difficulty. Um, anyways, back to Bumgarner. Again, let's click look at his attributes. Um, I'm going to show you guys... Alright, like right now Bumgarner is a 94 overall, he's a diamond. I'm sure you guys what happens when you do a mess with their uh, not batting clutch, even though he can't hit a little bit. I'm on Buster Posey right now, obviously. That's not him. Um pitching attributes, pitching clutch. Alright, so say we max it out, what does Bumgarner become? Bumgarner becomes still a 94 overall, okay. Now let's say we bump this sucker down to zero. He drops all the way from a diamond to a 89 overall gold and again we're going to get into this so I'm going to show you how big of an impact this attribute actually has but a key takeaway guys I want you to know he drops all the way from a diamond to an 89 overall and if we go look at the prices on the market in fact let's go do that right now let's go look at the prices on the market I want to show you guys you know how overrated some of these pitchers can be based off their attributes. We'll actually look at uh, Bumgarner's current price and compare it to somebody that's an 89 overall. So we'll go to starting pitchers, live series. Madison Bumgarner. Um, okay, for whatever reason, Adam has a 94, but him has a 93 overall. It's going to be 27k stubs. Now we go down to that 89 range. Look at the difference in price. These guys are, you know, anywhere from 5 to 8k. And they have your diamonds up here that are anywhere from, you know, anywhere from 20, what, 25 to 40k. These low diamonds. So, I just want to show you guys be careful when you're on the market. Look at these certain attributes. Um, again, I'm not saying Pitch and Clutch does nothing, but I'm going to show you what it does and we're going to get right into that, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so here is the results of the test I did run. Um, what I did was I, uh, I had Madison Bumgarner versus Miguel Cabrera. And in the first example on the top left, we have no change at all. We have no runners in scoring position. Alright. The next one we have runners in scoring position. And then we go to the bottom left. Now I maxed out Madison Bumgarner's pitching clutch. And then finally the last one, I put Madison Bumgarner's pitching clutch at zero. Alright, so <clears throat> if you look here at the naked eye, you will think that there's absolutely uh, no change at all to the PCI. Um, however, and I even had to go back to double check this. If you line them up next to each other, or I actually had to take uh, different JPEGs and skip, you know, go from frame to frame and have them lined up the same way. 
and I saw very, <laughs> I finally saw very subtle changes to the PCI. I mean, it was it was so subtle. So if you guys really look closely, you'll see that there is a slight difference between maxed out pitch and clutch to no pitch and clutch. And of course, that does mean there is somewhat of a change from runners in scoring position uh, to no runners in scoring position. There's slight changes with all of them. So yes, it does affect the size of the PCI. Um, now, whether that, you know, I don't know how that counteracts exactly. I don't know if it counteracts the, the batter's clutch rating. Um, again, I'll have a new a video going up shortly talking about that. And I don't know if it affects directly the hits per nine or K per nine. All I know is I maxed out their clutch against a hitter like Cabrera who has a really, you know, good contact and play vision, and it barely changed at all. Um, so you really, and, and keep in mind, I guess I should say this too, it only applies to runners in scoring position, and you will know you're in a clutch situation when your controller uh, vibrates or starts pulsating. And actually, I did test this a little bit as well, um, and this is very subtle too. Uh, the, I believe the higher the clutch rating is, uh, say like, you know, Bumgarner has 99 pitch and clutch, the less vibration you feel, but again, that's something that's hard to prove, and if you really don't like, I don't like having the vibration on at all, so I just turn it off. But yeah, it's supposedly it's supposed to affect how much your controller actually vibrates and pulsate. But again, I just turn off my controller, so that shouldn't have an impact. So uh, not only does it affect the PCI size, but it can affect you know how much your controller does vibrate. And uh, I guess the good thing about having the vibration on is you'll know when a clutch situation uh, is intact, and you'll know that those attributes do kick in, although very uh very subtly like they don't really do much at all that's evident of these pictures so i'll have a uh short final summary i'll actually show you some other um i'll actually show you guys wade davis pci and then i'll kind of give you my uh my final thoughts on pitching clutch attributes so stay tuned Alright guys, so uh, I wanted to show you guys another picture and just talk about some of the differences you may see to, uh, to the PCI, um, but it doesn't always come back to the pitch and clutch attribute. Um, again, we're pitching Wade Davis here, and I've actually tested a few different things. I've done a few scenarios where, um, well in this instance I have Wade Davis coming in in a one run game, and there's runners on first and second. Uh, the thing is, I didn't actually feel any vibration or pulsation, pulsating until I got runners in scoring position. So keep in mind, even though it might be a tie game or a, a one run game going into the ninth, you still won't feel the vibration or see the attributes kick in until someone actually is in scoring position. Uh, something else I did notice was that the score of the game does matter. If you're up like eight to nothing, um, clutch the clutch attribute didn't seem to kick in. Uh, that kind of that you know obviously that makes sense. So. Pretty much uh, the game, I here's my theory, I, I believe it has to be within three runs, and I believe runners have to be in scoring position, um, so yeah. But anyways, in this game, I had Wade Davis uh, come in, and there is a slight difference in the PCI if you go back and look at the uh, last pictures I had. The Wade Davis PCI is a little bit smaller, but again, and we'll show you guys uh, later on why it is smaller. Um, but it's mainly due to his uh, hits per nine and K per nine. Really did not have uh, much to do at all with the pitching clutch. Although the pitching clutch, again, if you look at the last pictures and you have to look really closely, does have a very minimal impact on the size of the PCI. Uh, so in summary, guys, um, you know I showed you guys how it can affect their overall. We had Madison Bumgarner go from an 89 overall to a 94 overall. Um, but basically nothing really changed about the pitcher. So that can just show you guys that you really have to pay attention to some of these attributes. Uh, they can be very deceiving and misleading. Never go based on uh, overall. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, in summary guys, pitching clutch to me, pretty dang useless. Uh, I would not put much stock in it at all. Um, the most important attributes to pay attention to are going to be your, you know, hits per nine, K per nine, and even walks per nine, and I'm going to have, you know, a video out talking about the difference between walks per nine 
and control per nine. Uh, with that being said, all these confusions and the attributes and how they affect the overall, um, I did help uh, you know the owner of Daddy Leagues. I gave him some algorithms to use that he's going to put up on his website, and it's really going to show you guys like who the actual good pitchers are instead of having some of these pitchers like the legend Gaylord Perry that's artificially boosted um, by the attribute home runs per nine that does nothing. So make sure you guys have been watching all my videos if you want to explain how these attributes actually work. And uh, if you wanted to rewind, they actually showed Wade Davis's per nines. They're, again, they're slightly better than, um, than Bumgarner's. So, yeah, I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Uh, I was actually surprised myself. And again, I had to go back and check that the size of the PCI... Uh, did change so yeah this was fun I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and again feel free to leave some comments ask questions let me know if you guys put any stock in pitching clutch or have you been putting any stock in pitching clutch I'm really curious to see if people have been looking at this attribute anyways this is Cardinal Bird 5 signing out peace